Hey guys, that's live here, and today I'll be doing a small um, additional class which is about web development using Python. So with so far we have been doing um we've been doing we've been doing Python introduction to Python lessons, and I just after the first lesson after you learn about variables, I want to teach you how to use the knowledge you've applied you've learned so far and apply it to building a website. So we'll be building a simple counter app today. It's more for demonstrative purposes of how to use the entire interface. And for it could be a sample use case could be used to count the people who are entering a mall. So yeah, it's useful in that sense. And um, yeah, so we're using this framework called Envil. It's a, it's a way to build websites with nothing but Python and drag and drop. So once again, the slides are available online um, in the description below. So check out check it out at my website. So let's go ahead and open um, Open uh, and build that works. So we go to the website and build that works, and we go ahead and click start building. So you come across to this website and we click start building. And then I'm going to need you to sign up, right, or sign in using Google. So let me just go ahead and do that. Okay, so now we're in here. Um, now we're in here. I need to sign in and click on new blank app. So click on new blank app. And the next step would be to go click on material design. So click on material design. And then um, here's the dashboard, right? Here's the overview. So on the left hand side, we have uh, the area where we create, where we where we um, create, manage the forms that we're creating. We're not going to need that. So go ahead and click on this app, app browser to close it. Right, on the top left over here. Then on the right, we have a add we have a component that we can add to our form. So in the sense in the here in the middle here, on the left here we have um the form right. We can, we can see that it's a template for us to drag and drop items onto it, and and yeah. So on the right there are a bunch of components as well as properties of those components that we can use for our form. So. This is a dashboard. Okay. So now I'm gonna need you to rename the project right, by clicking on the, um, the, 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 the name beside the run button. So let's go ahead and click on this and let's just call it counter app demo. Okay, so we click rename to that. And then after that, um, you can add a title to your page. So you drag and drop the third, the third one over there, over to the title part. So you drag and drop this one, the third one, over to the title. And you see that this right side has changed a little bit. If I zoom in a little bit, and then we can go to this content section and type something that we want. So let's just say my um, amazing outer app. So you see that the title here has changed and we can edit the properties on the right and you see that it changes on the left. Okay, so that's adding a title. Then the next thing, let's, um, let's add a URL to your social media or your website. So we're going to click the fourth button over there and drag and drop it over to the link area. And we're going to change the URL as well. So go over here. If you, don't, if you see this on the right-hand side, there's two ways you can open up the component panel. One is by clicking add new component right or another one is by clicking at anywhere else on the form that defocuses from this so we're going to go for the fourth one right it says link to hover over it and drag and drop it to this drop links here so as you drop it there you see that this right hand side panel has appeared again and here we're going to put our website in this case i'm going to put the link to my website and then um, from here we can change the text right so it says visit my profile Exclamation mark. So you see that the text here has changed accordingly as well. And the next step would be to press run. So over here, we have a website ready. Let's go ahead and press run. And we see that it takes a while to load, but after it's loaded, right, we see that our website has popped up with the title and the visit my profile. So if I go ahead and click on it, you see it opens a new tab and it in fact visits my profile. So um, yeah, so you can put any link over here that you want. You can drag and drop multiple links as well. But for now, let's move on to building the counter app. So 
um, for the first part, we'll be dragging and dropping components to form the, 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 the website. And then in the second part, we'll be writing code to, inter to tell uh, Envil what to do when we click on buttons. So let's first add a display for our counter because we need somewhere to display our current counter value. So to do so, you we drag and drop a text field, the second one, to the middle over there. And we name and we need to rename some things. So drag and drop the second one over here, like the second item over here. Over here, then we see the blue line appear, suggesting that we can drop it there. And it, and I've dropped it there. So you see label underscore one. Now I'm gonna need to change this at label underscore one, right? For the purposes of the code later. So let's click on the change and let's rename it to label underscore counter uh or -oh, label underscore display. Um, yeah, so we rename it to label underscore display and this is for the code to later to know that label underscore display is the way to reference to this text field. And after that, um, you can also change the text field over here to say to write value colon space zero. So you see that the text is immediately shown, right? Whereas the label underscore display is not is not shown because this is for um this is for it is hidden in the background. Okay, so after we've done that, we can go ahead and drag and drop our next item, which is a button to increase this value of counter. So if we go ahead and run this website, you see that it's just us. It's stuck at the value zero. So we want to include a button to increase the value. So we can drag and drop the fifth item over here, a button right below the, the label, right? So we open it and we see on the right hand side, something has popped up. So let's call it um, button, button increase. So after dragging and dropping, we're going to name it button underscore increase. So we go over here with the name section and click on this and we call it button underscore increase. Okay, and then for the text, we want to change it to something more tell more informative than button underscore one. So let's call it increase counter. So that means we go over here to the text section and we write button and write increase counter. And that yeah, and we're done with the buttons part. So now the next step is to add code to handle the button clicks. So um, if any, so so right now we have these elements, right? So if you go ahead and click beside the design tab, click code, you see that here is the code that we use to handle what happens when we click on certain things in the form. So what this means is that if you go over to design, right, and we have the let's let's add a let's add a code to handle the button, the click of the button. So if we click on this counter over here, a single click, and then we scroll down to the right over here, you'll see that there's a click section under events. And if we click on this blue button over here, then we see that it will create this yellow line for us. It highlights this line for us. And they say this, this method, this method is basically this part of the code. But this method is called when the button is clicked. And right now we see path, we'll be replacing that with our own code. So once again, if you go back to design tab, click on the button, single click, right? And go all the way down, you see that hey, over here, the click, because we press the button just now, it has filled up the form for us saying button increase click. So let's go over to the code section. And over here, we'll be writing the code. So from here, you can go ahead and pause the video to add this code into your, into your form. So I'll just pause here for three seconds. Okay, so the first thing we need to add is a self dot counter equals zero after the init at the after at the init init um function. So that will be over here, right? So at line eleven, you press enter, and this spacing is in fact important. So we write self dot counter equals zero, and then we're gonna come down over here to line fifteen, right? We're gonna delete the pass from line fifteen, and we're going to Right in line 15 and line 16, these two lines. So I'm going to write self.counter equals to self.counter plus one. And at line 16, I'm going to write self.label display.text equals to 
the formatted string value colon self counter. So the formatted string, the F here indicates the formatted string. Um, if you are unsure what this means, please uh, go ahead and watch the first video of the, the first Python video of my Python series. So I'm going to type value colon self counter. And yeah, and we are done. So we've added this code. Now we can go ahead and click run, right? And we see that if you click increase counter, then the, the value is updated by one. So if you click multiple times, each time we click it, right, it increases by one. And if you refresh the website, then it will go back to zero. So you see that we've created a, a counter just like that. If we revisit the website, then it goes back to zero. Yeah. And so maybe maybe you are interested in sending this to your friends. So you can in fact go ahead and go to the top right over here and click publish this app. All right. Then it's gonna say either you can share via private link or public link. Let's choose public link. And then we have um let's just call it ECH YouTube video outer app. Okay, then after that you click OK and we go to the website ECH YouTube. Counter a YouTube video counter app dot and will dot app right must be dot app it's not dot work then you in fact see our counter app so yeah so we are we're done with it we can increase counter we see that it increases accordingly so this is just a demo video for for how to write um applications in Envil write websites in Envil using Python. So of course, uh, there's more stuff that you can do um, with it. And if you have any specific requests, please go ahead and leave a comment in the description below. If not, that's all for my sharing. Uh, I hope you have a nice day. Bye-bye.